right here at red bubbles we can see that meat johnny wall art is being sold in the store and that people have come up and created some art and are displaying it on their store and yes it's converting to sales so today i'm going to show you from beginning how we can create this wall art and how we can go ahead and resize it remove the background and come back here and upload it back to red bubbles and also show you keywords how you can find keywords and put them in our store so right now we are over here at my discord page i hope you have a discord account if you don't do please have one before you can go ahead and do this so right here i am going to insert my prompt so i've thought about this you can go ahead and imagine whatever you feel like it's in your head like just you can type anything you can type anything that will make sense and trust me even if it doesn't make sense the AI will make it make sense I hope you understand what I am saying so here I want the AI to generate a paper quill, quill work art of a sheep on a stormy sea and I want this to be in high resolution and I also want the aspect ratio to be 2 by 3 so I've gone ahead and I've typed all that and now I'm going to send this prompt out and watch the AI generate this so as you can see the AI has begun working and it's already processing the prompt and here we have the results loading and now you can see it has fully loaded so I'm going to save this images just to have it on my system and head right back to the discord main page to create a variation of the one I like and also upscale the one I like the most so for this images I'm going to upscale number two that's you two and then create a variation of number three so I've done that, and then the AI is going to go ahead and process this jobs so it has created variation of number three and you can see there are now four different images of the same picture you can tell they are different by the sun you can see the different types of sun in this photo so i'll go ahead ahead and also save this image and then head back to the main page to see the one that has been upscaled so right here we see U2 and U2 has been fully upscaled and as always I'm also going to save this image I I decided to request Mid Journey to send me a DM of this image so I went ahead and I did that and this image was sent to my DM and here it is in my DM and then I saved it from here so we have our photo saved and I'm going to create one more prompt and then go ahead to the next part of this video for my next prompt I want the AI to create a beautiful watercolor landscape of nature and there I just put in deep blue sea, birds in the sky, light rays and this is what the AI generated. So we're going to open this and see what was created. Okay, okay and this is a very good beautiful work of art. I'll go ahead and save this picture and while in the process I am trying to figure out which one I'm going to upscale so i decided to upscale number two and also create variations of number four and so the ai went ahead and did its thing and this is the final image that we got right here 
guys i'm not a good orator or narrator i just know how to do this thing and this is the best way i can explain it please bear with me if my story or the flow ends flowing it's not flowing enough well take me as i am guys so the next thing we're going to do is to upscale our ai generated art most um art generated on uh, mid journey produce and uh, what they have very low resolution images and we know that for us to be able to upload our designs on redbubble we have to upscale our art so right here on ai image enlarger we are going to do just that and i've gone ahead and i've uploaded my picture and i upscaled it by four and now we we'll have a higher resolution image so make sure you save this image and then you can go ahead and upload as much as you want but i think they have a, a maximum limit of eight trials after eight times then you have to subscribe um to continue with their service so but i'll show you a way you can do this well you will see that later in the video so i'm just going ahead and i'm upscaling all the photos that I generated on mid journey so next we're going to use Canva to format our AI images and the size we're using is 4500 by 5400 so what we're doing now is to format it ready for Redbubble before uploading any designs to Redbubble you will need to make sure your art is high quality so here we're using Canva to upscale our designs to the required size given by redbubble so i'm going to go ahead and drag this pictures into the canvas adjust it accordingly you can make it bigger you can drag it on all sides you can put it in the middle you can put it at the corner you can design this anyhow you want and anywhere anyhow you feel looks good and it's okay to you don't worry the space you are seeing at the background will not affect your work. It's not going to change. The size will remain 4,500 by 5,400. So I have adjusted this and I'm okay with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other pictures into Canva. So right now I have done just that. All my pictures are set and they are all ready to be uploaded into Redbubble. So I'm going to save this image I'm going to name it and then go ahead and download it and then wait for my images to be downloaded so what we're going to do next is to remove the background mostly for wall art I don't think it's necessary for you to remove the background but if you want your work to be printed on a t-shirt or any other thing it is advisable to remove your background so I'm going to show you how to do that on remove peachy here I have uploaded the pictures directly into remove peachy and then I'm going to go ahead and download HD please download the HD not the other smaller size so to do this we need to sign up to download one image for free so because I've used all my email accounts I went ahead to temp email and generated a temporary email I'm using this email to sign up filling in every other details and then this is going to send me back an activation email to this temporary email so I'm going to head over to my temporary email scroll down and right there in the inbox you will see that the email has already been sent so you go ahead and activate your account and it's going to take you back directly to remove bg and now you can download the full hd image of your work so this is how you can download transparent background and still have the high resolution unlike downloading the preview which will give you a lower resolution so this is what i do for all my pictures now i want to show you why i said it's not all pictures 
especially those for wall art that sh the background should be removed so this next image I tried to remove the background of this um, image the watercolor image and as you can see I've uploaded it and then it's uploading and then it's trying to remove the background and so while this is going on I was just waiting to see my final work and it took me a moment to realize that the background has actually been removed and yet I can't see anything next we are here at red bubble and now I'm going to add in my new work I'm going to go ahead and upload my first image and then it's uploading it's quite fast it doesn't take time and then the images um, must completely loaded yep and scroll down you would see that the system is already adding the images to your product I'm not interested in using this on a t-shirt or on a cap or on any of those things but if you like it you can leave it enabled but if you don't you can always disable the product you don't want this um, design to be on but as for me I just went ahead and I left everything on because at the end of this video I'll go back and delete it possibly or if I make a sale I will leave it and then if you want to set your default product you go over here and you scroll up or down and look for the product you want to be set as default that is the product the customers will see when they come to your shop but for me I'm going to go ahead and leave it optimized as Redbubble recommended and so I decided that I like how this is looking on this shirt so I decided to play a little with it I tried to see what it's going to look like in a black shirt so right there where the color palette is I clicked on black right yep so I clicked on black and it looks good on a black t-shirt so mm, I decided to leave this enabled who knows I could get a sale up next is title tags and description so um, I, I went over to top bubble but before that I already hopped on, on chat GPT my best friend and I already asked it to create some title for me and it's created one as you can see I put it right there but let's head on to top bubble went over to top bubble top bubble is a free SEO um, site everything is free so you can research your keyword and right here I put meet journey wall art or meet journey AI as you can remember at the beginning of the video that was what was on the red bubble store so I put in this keyword and it searched for it and you can see the statistics that has come out the difficulty is low so it's not saturated and there is a space for us to hop on this trend and probably get a sale hopefully so now I've seen that I can work with this um, keyword so next is to generate our tags but you can open any of the shop here and have an idea what your competition looks like and how they are work or their art is doing on their store so back to top bubble let's see what tags can be generated so I clicked on the tag generator inserted my keyword I'm thinking of how to phrase my keyword on the best keyword to type the best keyword that I know that people are searching for I'm quite aware that everyone is searching for AI art and then Mid Journey is one that is really doing well there. So I put Mid Journey AI art and then Wall Art and then clicked on search and these are the tags that were generated. So what people usually do is that they just copy these tags and they paste it. No, I would not advise that you do that. That's called tag spamming and your account could 
get into trouble for that so what I do is I have an idea of this and then I go to chat GPT and also ask it to generate some keywords for me and then I try and mix both of them and I don't really copy I don't copy and paste actually I actually type I can be creating the same um, niche on different items and I would just shuffle the words I type them shuffle them add little um, new ones that are not even that were not included in the tag um, list so you just do this so it will seem as if it's not generic it's not because many people are going on to top bubbles and other keyboard listing and they're just copying all the tags and you can see that almost all the stores are having the exact same tag so that is tag spamming and it could get you in trouble so here um, I'm asking chat GPT my best friend by the way I love this software or app or whatever this AI I'm in love with it I actually to have conversations with it but until our video so I'm asking it to just create some keywords for me and it has done that and I'm seeing that mm, it's not keywording like that but I still took a little of what it gave and then took some of this and then I went ahead and I typed them all into my tag list so I thought I wrote I think 15 or 12 tags but you can always do between 10 and 20 I would not advise you do more than that because um, red bubbles limits is 20 even though some people still go ahead and they add up to 30 tags but yeah the more your number of tags the more your chances of being discovered so I'm going ahead to adjust my title and making sure the keywords meet journey AI art are all inside that title so when someone is searching for it my store will have a higher chance of being recommended and I'll go ahead and copy this exact title and put it into the description box yeah so that's what I just did right here copied it I put it back into the description box and went ahead looked through the store make sure everything is in order and then I saved my work thereby publishing it to the public and here Redbubble is uploading it uploading it uploading it and now it's fully processed yep now our store is live and anybody that searches for it will be able to find our item so that took a while but here it is mid journey on stormy seas and everything and here are the products this is what it looks like on the max I like the face cap I like the t-shirt yeah it's not so bad on clothing oh, I like it on the graphic t-shirt it looks so cool uh, not so much on that large t-shirt but here yeah, so this is what it looks like and this is what it should look like but you know as I said I'm focused on those arts selling more as a sticker as a bat mat and also as a wall art i'm scrolling down to see if i can see the example of wall art but i'm not finding it i can't see it i don't know what's wrong let me scroll back up and see if i can locate where it is okay there it is framed art print there it is guys this is what it would look like framed on the wall and it looks so good yeah so this is the first one now I, I'll go ahead and also upload my other works just one more and then I'll be done
So I'm adding the second one. That's processed. Looks so cool on the t-shirt. This is this is killer. This is banger. This is cool. Let me see. It's so cool on a white t-shirt. I love it. So I think I'm just going to leave it this way. Yeah. Let me see what's going to look like on the black t-shirt. Nope. White is better. So I will apply the changes and then I've gone ahead and I have done the whole shenanigans and here we have the work uploaded on our store and this is what it looks like on the face marks on the shirt it looks so good on the graphic t-shirt so I'm looking to see where the framed art is once again I'm going to just scroll right through Excuse me. I can't seem to find it. Huh. Scrolling and scrolling. And there it is. There is one. And there is the second one. So guys, this is it. This is how you can generate your AI art and go through all those processes and then upload them on your red bubble or amazon by match or any store and put on demand store or even on etsy and you can make money just doing this i mean the ai basically has done all the designing and all your work so this is my shop i actually started the shop two days ago no jokes and i've been able to create all this design using the same process I just spoke about that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and tell me if you want more videos like this and I'll be happy to create them for you thank you so much